Board. And uh, welcome everyone to our third week, right? Our third call. Yeah. Um, and you guys know Greg and Mike, but I will turn it over to them and allow them to introduce themselves. So take it away, guys. Well, I guess I'm, I'm first. And, you know, I've been doing this, just to give a little introduction, I've been doing this since May 1st of 2011, and I still get the butterflies talking in front of everybody here. So, first off, thank you all for being here. Um, you know, the, the groups, the calls, they start off big and they kind of shrink, and some people would think, oh, that's good, I don't have to worry as much. But to me, it's more concerning that I have to do a good job because you guys are the ones that are committed making the time to be here. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I am a diamond coach. I never want to hear anyone say I'm just a coach because you guys can change a life just like a 15 star diamond. So never ever say just, you're not just anything. You are you and that's uh, fantastic. Um, so like I said, a little bit nervous little bit of you know Mike had to put an outline together for me so thank you Mike I really appreciate that uh, and he's but, the uh, whatever yeah <laughs> um, we're gonna be talking about passion tonight I definitely definitely feels very strongly about this because it is something that's true to my heart uh, if I didn't have this passion for this company and the things that they've done for me and my family I wouldn't be here and, and that goes to all the team members that we have here, whether you're brand new, whether you've been here for months, whether you've been here for years, or if you're really old like Greg. So, <laughs> uh, with that being said, I wanted to read the definition of passion. So, I'm reading from the Oxford definition, and it says intense sexual, well, wait, no, not that one. We're not going to read the sexual one. A strong and a uncontrollable emotion, a state or outburst of strong emotion. And that's what we, we want to talk about tonight, what we need our passion to be when we're sharing with somebody. And I'm going to throw a complete curveball after I, I say we need to look at our passion. Um, I don't know how many of you have heard the story about the mentor that takes the student out to the beach and then the student's like, I want to sell so bad. I want to sell like, like you do. Show me what you do. And he takes them out in the water and he dunks them. And the students all just struggling to get out, struggling to breathe. And the, and the mentor takes them out and says, Oh yeah. You know, if, when you want to, do this as much as you want to breathe, then you know you can do it. Well, if you ever heard that story, it was uh, E.T., the hip hop rapper, subscribe to him on YouTube, I'm not getting paid for this, but he's very passionate, he told that story. And I was, I was listening to him the other day and he said, most of us, we have that second chance. He said, when I gave that story, I was talking to a, a, a youth group that were on their last chance. They didn't have a second chance. If they failed in this group, they were done. They were off to prison. So when you hear that story, because there's so many different versions of it now, but when you hear that story, understand the mentality of where that came from. When that story was given, it was people, their very, very last chance. So what does passion mean to me? So like I said, I've been doing this since May 1st of 2011. And the big story that I can tell you, and uh, if any of you know me, I'm a little bit of a softy, a little bit. So last Super Saturday, my brother, my older brother, eight years older than me, he, he joined Challenge Group, had amazing, amazing results. He actually has lost 70, over 70 pounds of fat. His, his total weight loss is 58, but he, calculate the the muscle and everything 77 pounds of fat so he gets up to give his testimonial of what what beach body has done to him and i'm down there recording and he says okay everybody stand up 
and he's nervous. He's really nervous. And he's like, since I have to get up here, my brother has to come up. I was like, this isn't going to be good. There's like 200 people here. And he's like, so I get up there and he goes, first off, I want you to give him a round of applause. So they start clapping. And I'm like, I can't cry in front of all these people. I'm on the market council. It's supposed to be strong. And he goes, not only did my brother change my life, he saved my life. And of course, I'm balling at this point. Tears flying. It was uh, it was embarrassing. There's a video on YouTube. Go watch it. Um, but he goes on to tell his story. How he was out in the yard. He scratched his his ankle, and it didn't heal. And he looked it up on on the internet, and he's like, "I pre I was pre diabetic. I was dying. And my brother for four years, for four years, he said." Jeff, I'm starting a challenge group. Do you want to come join me? And he said, no, I'm not ready. But he said, because of my passion, because I was always there, I was committed to help other people. He said, he saved my life. So talk about passion. Talk about those things that can change your life change the lives of others. You need to grasp onto that. We, we are not those students in Detroit that have one last chance. We have other chances. We have, we have something, you know, if, if, if Beachbody disappeared or whatever, we could go find something else. We could go do that. But when you understand what Beachbody is, what it is allowing us to do to help people see that vision to look through a window that they might not know they have it might be bricks brick upon brick boarding up their window their vision and we're there to say look i've got a vision doesn't it look nice should we look through your window see what you have and we take those bricks down and they might see just a little bit hey i think there's some sunlight behind that window Behind these bricks, let's, let's, let's dust off these, these shades, dust off the, the blinds, let's move them aside, let's, let's open it up, let's take those bricks down, and they'll start seeing that vision. But the only way that they're going to see that is when you share your passion and your vision. So, what is your passion? I mean, are you passionate about Beachbody? Are you going out there and you see somebody and you just, beach body's the greatest? That's where the curveball comes in. You need to hold it back. You need to give them a little bit at a time. The one thing that we don't want to do is we don't want to, here, hold this hose, stick it in your mouth. I'm going to go turn on the passion pump. And you got to take it all in because you're going to drown them. It's got to go slowly, but it's got to be there. They've got to see it in your eyes in your voice, in your being. So we, t we talk about what is the best way to share the passion of somebody, for, with somebody. You know, how, I, I posted it earlier this week. How many of us posted, hey, start a challenge group. Who wants to come with me? You know, what's the passion there? I've got a cool picture. It's awesome. We're going to have fun. But they don't hear it. I don't feel it. You need to reach out to these people. You know, whether it's through, some of us are like, you know, I can't do videos. And trust me, you go back and look at my, my first videos. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not the best videos in the world. I can guarantee you that. I was scared. I was nervous. More nervous than I am right now. But it's the consistency. What if I hadn't kept sharing with my brother? What happened is if I hadn't kept talking to him? Hey, Jeff, you want to come join the group? We're going to have fun. I love this. It means so much to me. So back in February, I actually got a, I actually brought into the office at the, at the I was a computer consultant. And they said, 
Greg, this has been really hard for us. Usually when we have to do this, we have a reason to, to talk to people and let them go. You're a wonderful employee. We hate to do this. We hope to be able to have you back. And it hurt. It hurt really bad. But it gave me the opportunity to relook at the passion that I have for helping people, for the passion that I have to help my family, knowing that I can do this. I can share with other people my passion, help them see through that window so that they can start going to the top of their mountain peak and their goals. So I am a full-time Beachbody coach. And I'm in control of my own destiny. When someone puts me under the water, I've got to want to breathe. I don't have another choice. I don't have another, another income coming in. Beachbody is my passion. So with that being said, what is your passion? How do you share? Are you being consistent? We, t we talk about John C. Maxwell. He talks about working with our strengths, work working over our weaknesses. Can you talk to people? Are you a good writer? Have you thought about creating a YouTube video, getting out of your shell, letting people hear how nervous and scared you are to talk to them? How many of you said, I've been thinking about talking to you for a long time, but I'm scared. But I love this company. I love seeing them taking a product that tastes fantastic and reformulating it because it's better for our customers. I love this company and I want you to be part of it. And I know that it can help you too. What is your dream? What is your vision? What do you want? So get out there, share. If, you, if you're like, I cannot do videos at this time, have you thought about starting a blog? Can you write your passion in? What are your strengths? So whatever you do, make sure that you take that passion and you're sharing it with people. Make sure that you're communicating with them of how much you care about them. Because when it comes down to it, that's the only thing that matters is how much you want them to succeed. How much you want to build their passion. Because some people aren't going to have the passion for Beachbody. Some people are going to have the passion for their grandkids. Some people are going to have a passion for their daytime job. Some people are going to have a passion for playing softball, which they haven't done since their early 20s, but they're too heavy to run around the bases. But when they see their passion and they see how they got back to their passion, they see that they can keep up with their kids, they see that they're going to be able to walk their daughter down the aisle where they thought, I'm not going to be around. In 20 years to see her, then they'll see Beachbody got me there. But not only did Beachbody got me there, but my coach got me there. And they care about me enough to speak up when they were scared, when they were afraid to say, I love this company. I, I truly believe it can help you. And I've been scared to talk to you because, because you're so fantastic. But I did it because I care about you and I want to see you achieve your passion. So make sure when you're sharing your passion that you understand their passion. So with that, um, I'm going to turn over the rest of the time to Mike. So. <laughs> So take it away, Mike. <laughs> Great. Um, 
Thanks, Greg. I don't know how in the world I'm going to follow that, but um, I'm going to do my very best. Um, you see why I wanted to partner with this guy um, and start our own uh, spinoff team? It's, uh, it's uh, unbelievable. I'm, I'm one of those guys. First off, I'm Mike Lamb for, for anybody that doesn't know who I am. I'm a star diamond, um, sometimes coach. Um, sometimes I drop back the diamond, but, you know, stuff happens, right? Um, I've been a coach just a little bit less than Greg. I, I got active with everything at the end of 2011. Um, Emerald for a long time, Diamond even longer. But Greg, Greg kind of touched on something. Um, I guess we should have rehearsed, and then maybe he wouldn't have stolen my uh, my line. But um, one of the one of the best pieces of advice that that I was ever given was actually at one of our Super Saturdays here in DC. Uh, Andrea Crowder, um, who I'm a huge fan of. Um, we were having our Super Saturday, and I got up. It was my turn to present. And, uh, you know, Andrew's a three-star. Greg, by then, was probably a five or something. Greg Armfield. Um, um, I don't remember what the other coaches were, but they were all star, star diamond pluses. And, and so I get up there, and the first thing I said is, you know, I'm, I'm just a diamond. And so I, I, I give my presentation. I sit back down, and Andrea leans over to me, and she says, um, she says your rank does not define you. Don't let it define you. Um, and so I was going to save this for the end, but, um, just to kind of piggyback on what Greg said, um, you know, we're, we're pushing for diamond and above, but don't think that you have to wait till you have a certain rank to be passionate and to show your passion, uh, for what we have to offer to other people. Um, I believe with every ounce of my being, um, that there isn't another con company out there like ours. Um, that offers what we offer people, um, total solution. You guys know this. I, I don't think you'd be here if you didn't, but don't ever hesitate to think, well, I need to wait till I get to such and such point before you start really putting yourself out there. Um, so having said that, um, you, what am I passionate about? Um, <laughs> she up. Uh, she starts kindergarten tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn. Uh, um, the whole reason. I <clears throat> mm. <laughs> uh, should have put my uniform on, Greg, and then I couldn't cry, right? Because uh, cops don't cry. Uh, <clears throat> my daughter, Madison, when she was born, I was the heaviest I'd ever been. And um, I wasn't like severely obese or anything like that. but. I knew I was heading down that road. And so she's one of the big reasons why. And I think a lot of you guys can identify with that. You know, we do this not only for ourselves, but for our families. We want to do something better, provide something better for them than what we had. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, phew. Anyway, I'm good. I'm good. So um, uh, I was looking up. I wanted to share something that you guys could um, – incorporate and and um you know uh, take away from this and and so i found this article on the power of passion um 10 tips to incorporate passion into your career which for us uh, you know is is obviously coaching um i'm not going to go over all 10 but the two that stuck out to me was number one and you may want to write this down um I'll, I'll post the link um so if you guys want to see the whole list later um but uh be authentically enthusiastic <laughs> Authentic passion is attractive and demonstrates traits like commitment, well-roundedness, and enthusiasm. While networking or sharing in our, in our uh, field, don't be afraid to express that you have deep passions and big goals, but always stay true to your personality and your values. Um, now, this may ruffle some feathers, but I want to give you guys an example of this. Um, there are certain things in our catalog that I'm not a huge fan of, so you'll never see me posting about those. Um, we have upline who say things like, no matter what it is in the catalog, you need to be promoting it simply because it's going to make you a sale and it's going to make them volume. Um, I don't think that's authentic and I don't want to be authentically enthusiastic like that. There's certain things that I, you know, will stand on any, you know, mountaintop and, and, and shout that, that I believe in things like Shakeology and, and, you know, work, workouts and things. Um, so I don't want you guys to feel that you need to lose who you are, your personality and your values um, to promote things that we have. 
Um, so that's number one. Number two, say yes more often. Um, I think Carl said this best when he said, be curious at the end of Summit uh, in Nashville. Um, be an explorer of, of what we do here, you know. Um, your you know personal development is great but but personal development can also be learning uh everything you can about you know what we have the, the policies and procedures the um which can be dry for some people but it's stuff that you need to know because it's stuff that you're going to need to share with your coaches um and and uh um it says here many people discover their calling through moves they make at work be open to new experiences ex assignments projects trips trainings networking events and more say yes to new things pa passionately. Um, for example, and, and I don't need to see a show of hands, but uh, I'm guessing there are some folks out here who have never been to a Super Saturday. Um, get your butts to Super Saturday, guys. Um, it's, it, there's nothing in the world like a live Team Beach Body event. You wanna see true passion, you wanna feel it, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel it at Super Saturday. You, you can only get so much from watching the video that corporate puts out there. So. Um, if you're going to start saying yes more often to certain things that have to do with passion and being passionate and being able to share your passion with other folks, then you need to come to these beach body events. Um, Summit is another one. Uh, Super Saturdays don't typically sell out. Summit is put yourself on a wait list and, and you know hope for the best. I hope we can all make it there. Um, uh, something else they talk about you know trainings and things if, if you're interested and you think it's going to help you relay your passion to, to other folks and and you know bring people on board um and get them interested in, and, and passionate about what we have um there's things like you know getting certified to do you know live trainings um other things are like your your uh, for example our, our certifications you know nutrition um the nasm certified personal trainer things like that um, but that was number two, say yes more often. It'll make you more passionate and be able to relay that better. Um, five questions that you should ask yourself, um, how you can put more passion into your work. Um, number one, what is your passion inviting you to do? What is that in the back of your head that's telling you, I need to do this to be able to relay my passion more to, to other folks and, and to grow my business and and uh, invite people along for this ride uh, something that you haven't done already um you know we need to listen to that that little voice in the back of our head sometimes number two what would your life be like if you were able to incorporate some aspect of your passion into your life every day beginning right now i'll say that again because sometimes I, I speak a little fast what would your life be like if you were able to incorporate some aspect of your passion into your life every day beginning right now Number three, how would adding more passion to your life benefit you? How would it benefit our team? Number four, what obstacles might be standing in your way? Number five, what is one small step you could take to move forward and begin adding more passion or authenticity to your life today? Um, so that's basically all I had. Thanks for listening to me. And, and uh, uh, I wanted to end with a quote. John Wesley said, light yourself on fire with passion and people will come for miles to watch you burn. So thanks everybody. Um, I guess we're gonna open it up um, to questions if anybody has any. So if Greg, you wanna unmute everybody. Uh, well, we'll just let them unmute themselves if they have questions. Um, okay, perfect. And who knows who's watching TV or screaming kids. Um, but thanks guys, you, got, you guys are awesome. You, I mean, it's, it's awesome to have the pearls talk about passion, and you guys could see why. So, you set us up. <laughs> uh, to have a ruby emerald talk about passion would not, not do it justice. So uh, now you guys see the difference in personalities that Greg talked about, and hopefully you all took the test. So does anybody have any questions about what they talked about or about your training? you know, so far, any of the videos, anything? How, how about we pick on somebody? That's what these group calls are for. Who yeah. wants to be picked on? I want to hear someone's passion. Who, who, who can share some passion with us? Anybody else a big time pearl? Who wants to cry on screen? <laughs> 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 but extra tissues.
<laughs> Got a whole box. Oh, jeez. I see Amy over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now she's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I just want to add, well, besides that my daughter is no success club five. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so it might have taken an ant to do it, yeah. but uh, hey, what you know. You got to do what you got to do, stuff. right? Yeah. Um, no, it's uh, just one thing that uh, I really do like the hip-hop creature. He's, he's really good. I might not like hip-hop at all. That's just because you haven't seen my size videos. But, uh, or you have. Um, but one of the things that he says is, you know, only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far you can go. You know, and I think everyone here needs to believe in yourself. It's, it really is. I mean, you guys have made a commitment and whether it doesn't matter what, what personality you have, um, whether you're doing it for yourself, whether you're doing it for others, whether you're, uh, you're just here for the party, you know, make sure that you, you go all out. So. If you I can back on that, wants to share now. I just wanted to say, piggybacking on that, like you don't, you, you don't have to be the smartest. Um, you don't have to be the most talented, but you know, having a ton of passion, I think will get you a long way. <laughs> Autumn has something to say, but she's on the phone and she can't unmute, but I'm trying to get her number. <laughs> I have a question in the meantime, if that's okay. Yes. Okay, so for today's assignment, I'm not sure I'm clear on what the um, mastermind is. Oh, did you listen to Shalene's podcast? No. <laughs> I, I started it and then I, I just didn't finish it. So should I just do that? Before yeah, I... just do that. Okay. She explains everything. So um, the mastermind that she was talking about is basically our group. You know, it's just a group of people who do the goals and then we hold each other accountable. So okay. basically the group is our mastermind. Okay, good. Yeah. I got about 10 minutes into it. So. Yeah, no, no problem. Greg, can you unmute the 812 number? Um, yes. Okay, go ahead. Hey, can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Um, I just wanted to know, like, I get so excited that I, like, word vomit over everyone. So, like, how do you express your passion without overwhelming people, I guess? Well, as far as uh, for me, um, I, it took me a long time to, to do that, especially because I get so passionate about things. But as I learned, and because I'm a pearl personality, I had to remind myself, I mean, literally remind myself that I need to fully help these people I need to make sure that I am listening to them. When you are forming someone, when you're learning about their family, their occupation and recreation, you need to listen for those things. What is it that they're passionate about? Because they're not going to truly understand your passion unless you truly understand their passion. So it, it, it is that word vomit is, you know, because no one likes to be thrown up on, otherwise they run away. So <laughs> we've all heard that. Well, I don't know if we've all heard that. You've heard it now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's understanding that their passion is more important than yours when you're talking to them. Your passion actually doesn't mean diddly squat unless you can understand how your passion is going to help them. If you're just talking, you're just talking. But when you understand what it is that, like I said, when you understand that their, their passion is seeing their kids, 
helping their grandkids, being able to get up the stairs because that's what their job requires and they're afraid to lose it. When, when you have someone on the phone and they say, I don't think my husband loves me anymore. Because, man, I'm a freaking my personality, Pearl, because I am not the person he married 20 years ago. I don't think he loves me anymore. When you understand that, when you understand that that's what this is about, then you can start sharing just a little bit of, I can, we can help. We have people that have gone through this. This is about you. This is about helping you make the changes that you want. I can't guarantee that this will change your relationship. All I can guarantee you is that we're going to give you the best fighting chance to bring back that passion, to bring back that self-confidence. So I wish there was an easy way, you know, duct tape maybe over your mouth. That could work. Um, but really it comes down to understanding what it is that they have, what they're working towards. And it's not lose five to ten pounds. That's a that's a that's a cover for what their passions are. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, I posted it in the chat, but uh, if you're on the phone, you didn't get to see it. But to kind of go with what Greg was saying, um, when I start to word vomit all over people, which, you know, it, it's it's a uh, a bad habit you know that can be hard to break i just remind myself of um uh, the quote people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care and so that you know reminds me to shut up and stop talking about me and you know make it back about them i don't know i like the duct tape <laughs> or that <laughs> I did see Amy unmute herself for a second. <laughs> anyway. Hi, Greg. <laughs> so what did you want me to say? <laughs> What's your passion? What's my passion? What's your passion? I, I have four kids. That's my passion. My passion, my mom, my mom died of lung cancer when she was 59. I had one child at that time. He was five months old. She didn't get to meet her other children, her other grandchildren. So I don't want that to happen to me. She was sedentary. She smoked for a number of years and she died of lung cancer. And that's not going to happen here. <laughs> so, yeah. And you share that with, you share that with your team members? Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Let's see. See, I, I just had a feeling you had a good story. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you bet I was a pearl, so... <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so. Okay, well, I guess if that's it, we'll wrap up. Anyone else? All right, well, thanks, guys. Thank you. If thanks, anybody boys. needs a transcript of what I was trying to say when I was getting all choked up, I can type that up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got it. All right, good. <laughs> All right, see you guys.